Hello, my name is Diana, and today I'm going to show you how to line an alligator clip and a French barrette. And this is just going to be part one of many parts of how to make first a, sim a simple single layer boutique bow, also a double layer boutique bow, as well as an over the top, um, way over the top hair bow, and maybe a couple other things in between. We'll see what happens. Um, right now I'm just gonna line this simple al alligator clip, and this one is approximately two and a fourth inches or so. So you're gonna need um, a 3 8 ribbon, don't use satin. I believe they call this grow, gain, grow grain or grass grain. I don't know, it's spelled grass grain, but I think it's pronounced grow grain. Um, what you need to do, and you don't need much of this, but I would just, you know, have it have enough for yourself. Um, I would say probably about six inches or so for this particular um, alligator clip. So what you first need to do is light the end here with your lighter or whatever else you choose to use. And please be careful. You need a glue gun. This one is well used, of course. You just want to put a dab right here of glue and put the clip right on top. It doesn't have to be exact, but this is what it looks like. And you're just going to leave it like this because this part of the clip is going to push down on it. Then you're going to take this part, glue a little bit. You don't have to be exact. And then come all the way to the end and try to make it so that the ends of the clip aren't showing. Press it down briefly. Put, uh, this is what I do. I put a little bit of, of glue, just a dab of glue right there, and I push down and hold it for a second. Put a little bit more on this side. Push down. Once again, hold it for a few seconds. And then I have my clips lined to right about here. If you can see it. So you once again want to light it to prevent it from fraying. I'm outside and it's a little bit windy today, but I can still get the job done. You just want to glue till the end. Please don't overuse the glue, otherwise it's going to um, smush out on the sides. Then you just want to press it just lightly to make it stay. The clip that I have has teeth on it, which that's what I like. Um, you can get alligator clips from Hobby Lobby, and they seem to be the cheapest when you buy it during their half off sale. Um, and it's, I believe the jewelry shop is the brand name. Um, I either purchase from there or I order online on eBay. So this is one finished alligator clip. And what you need to do, and you're probably gonna mess up a few times, but you know what? You gotta just keep trying over and over um, because it just, it, it takes practice. It takes practice. Here's the next one, which is a French barrette. This one works differently, of course. All we're gonna do is cover these holes right here. You see these holes? That's all we're gonna do. And this one is approximately two and a fourth again. So I'm gonna light the end here. 
just a little bit of glue right there just a little bit this time we got strings hanging out and I'm just gonna cover this hole right here that's it just to start push it down hold it for a few seconds run this glue along here don't overdo it have it come along the end do not glue directly onto the metal because it will not stay very well you want to glue it onto the ribbon itself so we have this and then we're just going to cover the other end so this may take a some practice to get it exactly how you want it light the end again glue and push in you see how i didn't cut it enough it's not a big deal you're not going to see that that's the part that's going to be underneath in the person's hair so and then i'm just pulling the strings off and that was it you see that that was it it's very simple very simple process on how to do this um this is definitely great if you want to do um, maybe a little tiny bow on top like a let's see here if we want to and I didn't plan on doing this but we could put a little tiny bow let's go four inches on this Light both ends and you're going to want these both to meet in the middle. So what I do is I fold it in half and then you can kind of see the crease right there, but you're going to want to glue them along the crease. Now in this video, you may not be able to see the crease, but you should be able to see it. Um, when you do it and you follow along here So this is all I'm doing. I'm gluing along this crease here on both ends And once again, I used approximately four inches for this Just a little bit of glue try to get it right in the middle and So this is what I have now I'm going to use the barrette on this one. Um, you're going to just put a little dab of glue right in the middle. Try to get this right in the middle of the barrette. See that? I'm going to open this up. Light the end once again. Put a dab of glue. Put it right here in the bottom, in the middle. Go right over your crease. And you can cut this here. That's just approximate. So I'm going to cut it down a little bit better. Light this end. I'm going to put a little dab of glue right here. The sun came out, so hopefully you can see this real well. I folded it in. Put another dab of glue right there and just push it down for a few seconds. And it is finished. Now you have a simple, and I'm just gonna push these up a little bit. You can spray this with hairspray, starch, whatever you like to do. I'm just gonna clean this up. I see little pieces of glue. Um, To make it stiff, 
if you would like. I, I personally don't use any of that stuff. And this is what this little bow looks like right on a barrette. Great for a child. Um, there is something a little bit different when you do it on an alligator clip. So I'm, I want to show you that. Once again, I'm going to use four inches. Other people might do this a little bit differently. Um, but this is my way. Once again, I'm going to fold it in between. Push down hard so I can see where my crease is. I'm going to glue both sides this time and go a little bit faster. Please don't burn yourself. Hold it there. With this barrette here, it wasn't exactly on. I'm not too worried about it. I just want to show you how this is done. Since the clip is right here for the pinch, I put mine over a little bit. You see? So I'm going to glue the bottom. Let's go up. There we go. And it kind of is flush with this side. I'm just going to finish it off real quick. How I did it last time. This looks like it isn't in the right spot. It's kind of hard to get it exactly in the middle. Um, and I'm going to put a dab of glue in the middle. Hold it down. This does not take a lot of ribbon at all. If you just go to, you know, Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby and such, I wouldn't, sh I wouldn't recommend some of the Hobby Lobby ribbon um, for these because some of their 3-8s the, with the plain ribbon is actually a different kind of ribbon. It's not so, it doesn't have like um, this nice finish as this ribbon that I ordered, I ordered online. Um, but I believe like the, the printed ones that they have there at Hobby Lobby are better for the finish. So that's, that's it right there. Otherwise go to Joann's and just get the, um, the shift ribbon. Cause that's really good ribbon and it's really, really nice quality. There we go. This loop is a little bit bigger. It's not a huge deal. Um, but otherwise there's a clip that you can put in and this could go for anybody, a baby, child, uh, my daughter is seven years old and I'll put these in her hair just to keep the bangs out of her face. Um, this could go in the back of, um, a ponytail, be really cute. So that is it for this episode. We will be doing another one with a simple single layer boutique bow and it's just a continuation from this one so um, I hope you go ahead and leave a like leave comments questions anything and please subscribe and follow me I will be doing a lot more crafty videos I just started doing these but um, if you if you follow me then you'll see all the videos new videos they come out with you definitely want to see the over-the-top huge hair bow. It's a lot more simple than you think it is. Just needs practice. Thanks for watching. Bye.